Hello, I'm Hattie from Stockcock Swimming Plumbers. Um, the following is going to be a real life installation of an MP water guard uh, system and an easy fit tray uh, and a, an MP heat mat. Now, um, this is a real life situation, so I've got no clue what I'm going to find when I get there. I don't know what's behind the walls, I don't know what's under the floorboards. So um, it's going to be warts and all. If I come and get up against any problems, how I'm going to solve them. Um, and uh, just really hoping that I'm going to show you how easy it is to fit an easy fit tray and that the MP easy fit system is actually easy fit. So I'm going to be going through that sort of stuff. When I've put the easy fit tray down and the water guard, I'm going to be putting a heat mat. And then on top of that, I'm going to be putting porcelain tiles. There's going to be a travertine tile around the wall, um, the glass shower screen, a concealed wall hung uh, WC and also a, w, uh, a, a wall hung basin and a heated uh, towel rail as well. So um, I hope you like it and I hope it's a success. As you can see, this is the bathroom as it is at the beginning. You can see it's got a vinyl floor, close coupled WC a basin on a cupboard, a shower cubicle, a dog barking in the background and a towel radiator. So that's the beginning. Um, come and see me when it's empty. Okay so you can see now I've emptied the room. Obviously I've left the loo in but uh, um, and I'm gonna need to put some cement board and uh, waterproof plasterboard up on the walls but what I'm going to do before I do that because I'm going to tank it I'm actually going to cut out my floorboards as a temporary measure so that I can put the cement boards down um, so that the tanking is not so that there's no gap between the shower tray and the um, cement board when it comes to tanking so I'm using the MP easy fit shower tray this is a 1200 by 900 and you can see I butt it right up against the um, structure of the wall and up against the wall where I will be putting the cement board so when the cement board comes down it's actually going to be meeting where the tray will be so that when I put the tank in there's no gaps so I've drawn around the tray and I can now remove it and put it somewhere safe. Well, I put the tray in. Now there's the joist right in the middle there. Let's have a look what happens. Brilliant thing about the uh, MP system is that uh, you have flexibility of waste. However, I never thought I'd be saying this, but it uh, doesn't matter where I turn that, I can't get past that joist. However, the brilliant thing about this is there is a solution. Um, I'm just going to move the tray slightly over. You can see I've marked a new line. I'm just going to cut it slightly over uh, so that I can take up that um, bit of joist, get that out of the way. So I'll do that next. Okay, so now I'm back. You can see I've cut that out a bit. Uh, you can see my original problem showing you this is a real life installation it's not your ideal situation that you get in these instructional videos I'm going to move that over now to there and there we have now now we've got a place for our waste pipe next thing I've got to do is just um, put the supports around the edges both edges and then all oh, four edges that is uh, secure the tray in the waste pipe and then I can put the the, um, the cement board and the uh, plasterboard I'll be doing that next okay so it's been a few days um, while well, I've prepared everything my wet room tray is now down uh, I had to put a six mil piece of ply around um, on top of the joist because I've got a six mil tile backing board. Um, also, I've also um, 
got my waist to do. A tip here is when you align your waist um, to get it in the right place. So I put numbers on. Um, so I've also got my other, just to show you my uh, my spirit level, nice and level there. I've also got my first fix in for my basin there and my concealed system loom. So I'm about to do the waist now. Right, so I've fitted the waist now and I'm about to fix the whole thing down. Um, you can see that I've lined up my uh, waist, uh, adjustable waist. Uh, also, I've made a note of a part of the uh, tray where I know there's a gas pipe. So I've said just use a short screw there because I know there's a gas pipe. Be very careful about that sort of thing. Um, so uh, we're going to need some self-tapping screws. I have, by the way, I have supported the tray all around the outside by putting leggings in between the joists already. So um, here I go. Yay, I'm ready for um, tanking. So I've primed the walls. I have kind of started without you. <laughs> well, I've primed the walls. Um, I didn't think you would be interested in watching me uh, Paint, painting blue on the walls. Anyway, I primed the walls up to a metre because I'm going to be I'm going to be tanking up to a metre. So they're primed up to the metre. Um, something to make sure of when you're about to put tanking on the floor is you need to make sure that all the screws are properly countersunk. Nothing must be sticking out uh, because you, especially around the showering area because you don't want to compromise the tanking and also uh, if like me you're going to be putting an underfloor mat you're going to want to um, make sure that there's no possibility of it ever getting damaged um, because you've got screws that aren't properly countersunk so if you look everything is properly countersunk and um, I'm ready to start tanking so the first thing I'll do is I'll put the corners down so I've got one two, three, three internal corners. Um, this end here is going to be, in this bathroom, is going to be a cupboard. Uh, I'm going to tank the floor, but I don't need to put a corner in because that's going to be completely covered. I'm going to tank all the whole floor um, and behind the door there. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tile this wall, so my tanking is just going to go minimally up the wall. So I'm going to start doing that now. Um, the corners come preformed. There's one. And what you do is you peel off the backing paper, fit it into place, and then um, move on to the next one. And once you've done all the corners, then you do the edges. So I'll do the corners first, the internal corner and the external corners, and then I'll put the edging strip on, and then I'll do the next bit. Okay, so here we are. I've now put um, the edges around there, along there, along there. There's my external corner there. Um, I've put a very small um, layer on the corner here where there's not going to be any tiles it's just going to be um, the height of the floor and I've also put my next strip which is one meter measured from the wall I've also now cut out my um, water guard and it's going to go into that bit there and then it's also going to go up up the wall so once I've done that, I'm ready for my, once I've done that, I'm ready for my heat mat. Well, I'll do the other half, then I'll be ready for my heat mat. So the next time you see me, I'll be um, doing my heat mat. Oh, right, here I am. I've actually laid my mat, so you can see I've laid it. Uh, it needs must, I've had to fit the toilet in. I've also put a couple of tiles on with my um, first fix there, and my second fix. Um, 
Now, before I laid my cable, I did my test on my, um, I can see it there, where is it? There it is, on the ends there, to check the voltage against what was written. I'm actually gonna get the rest of it wired up by an electrician. So I've laid my heat mat. Uh, it was, it, it does actually go underneath the tiles. I've also cut the tiles ready for tiling the shower tray. Um, there's, a, there's another wall here that's going to be a cupboard that's going to also end my shower enclosure and um, those trench there and up there is going to be where my shower screen is going to go. So um, my heat mat is laid, it's taped, I had to come around, um, around the wall and do a few bits and pieces so uh, to get it but um, you're not to cut heat mat, you must just use all of it. There's my um, toilet that's in the wall, and there's my spritzer. Okay then, so, um, oh, and there's my thermostat in the wall, in the sensor tube. Um, so I'm now going to start mixing my cement and getting my tiles stuck down. Hello, um, this is Hattie. Um, that's been a bit of a marathon installation, but I'm hoping you're going to like the results. Here we go. Okay, in we go. So, here's our wall hung. Here's our tiles. Um, basin hanging on the wall there with a concealed um, tap valve. Here's our uh, concealed loo. And here is the star of the show, the Impy um, wet room, easy fit tray fitted there with the piece of glass, um, the drain and the tiles, the travertine tile on the wall, shower, um, got a cupboard here, which has already been nicely full and just on this side got our heated rail our towel rail um, now this bathroom has been used so I can reveal that the customer is very happy and so am I I would highly recommend the uh, MP Easy Fit it, there were problems, but we were over, I was able to overcome them. Um, the water guard has meant that basically we're in a you know a completely sealed room within a room, so it's uh, we're not even worried about any of it. And it was it was a great installation to do, and I hope you enjoyed watching it.